Hey everybody, Norm over here at Norm's Rare Guitars, and I've got uh, some old friends here. Uh, most of my friends are old friends these <laughs> days, you know, so. Uh, we got the great Mitch Holder, who a lot of you people probably know him from working at Gibson, but this guy's one of the great jazz guitar players, played with everybody from Lee Ridenour to Barry Manilow to uh, the Beach Boys to, uh, tell us. Frank Sinatra, Barbara Streisand. A couple no Lionel, names there. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie uh, and uh, Smokey Robinson, etc. Etc. Johnny Carson. Et All right. So, so he's had a little bit of experience <laughs> with a git fiddle over here, and then Eddie Arkin over here. Eddie uh, is a writer for a lot of you do a lot of like right. TV and TV movies shows. And stuff. I, I did um, the TV series Melrose Place. I was a composer on that show. Burke's Law. Um, I did the movies. Um, all the production music in the movies, My Best Friend's Wedding, The Mass with Jim Carrey. Oh, nice. Um, anyways, I've had, and then I produced Barry Manilow's albums, and, and Mitch and I have known each other since we were kids, basically. Went to high school. Very cool. And by the way, you guys are playing together and you're recording together? And yes, we are. Tell us. Well, interestingly enough, we have a quartet that we started uh, playing in 1977. And it was Eddie and myself, Abraham Laboreal Sr. now. Oh, another beginner. On bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Paul Lime, who some of you may not know, he's a drummer. He was here for quite a while in L.A., and he went to Nashville. And uh, in Nashville, it's easier to ask Paul who he didn't work for than who he did, so I'll leave it at that. But uh, so the after 40 years, we never recorded. Eddie and I wrote all the music. We never recorded. And we got some flack about that over the past few years. How come you guys never recorded that music? So I, I called and I said, well, well let's, let's do it. We didn't do it then, let's do it now. Yeah. And we got new music, let's do that. So we cool. did, we got together, the four of us, and it, when we went in the studio, it was as if we had never stopped. Nice. Is yeah, it already it done? Just, or yeah, it's done, it's out. It just came out. And it, the name of the group is Reunion Four. And it's only available online. So if you go to Amazon, iTunes, CD the Baby, usual, the usual yeah. suspects, you'll find it. Reunion 4. And if you want to look up anything about these guys, you better have a phone that can handle a lot of information because <laughs> both of these guys can, uh, their resume is pretty hefty. So enough talking. Play a little bit for us, guys. They were in here playing a few minutes ago and figured we'd get them to do it. Oh, sure. Here's our version of Autumn Leaves.
these guys can really play. They know what to do with the guitar. Uh, amazing how these two Stratocasters sound. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, when Mitch was playing as a West Montgomery L5, and what Eddie's playing is an ES350T, but like the later 70s, they went to a full scale on right. these. Mm. The early ones were three quarter scale. Right, that was my first electric guitar, was a, a, the original three quarter scale one, right. which mm. was kind of too small for my hands as I yeah, grew up. So, so these are popular, they did very few of them, and it's just very cool guitar, thin body with a yeah. longer scale length. So thank you guys. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Oh, thanks for always yeah, glad fun, to have you a fellas. Fun hang. Anytime. Thanks. We got Eddie Arkin. We got Mitch Holder right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Thank you guys. Thanks.